All right, here's another method for uh, weaving palm fronds um, that I'm learning is where you weave uh, one side into the other side here. And I've got my snips um, because they contrast nicely against the leaves, but also so that you can kind of tell for, from the visual standpoint which side I'm working on because on this particular leaf, at least it starts out really closely together. All right, so I'm going to try to go slowly until um, this is understood um, so, so as not to be confused by the different leaves here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore these first two and I'm going to take the third one in and on the ones on the ground here I want to go just over and under like so and I want this to go this way. Now what I'm going to do with my snips here is get rid of these two leaves here just so that it's clear what's going on okay and then I'll still use my snips to hopefully separate things for a visual standpoint okay then the next one down the line this one here I want to go under and then over and then under the next one and that starts to lock things up and start our weave and the same thing here oh under the next one under then over then under so as you start to go mm -hmm. then I can use my foot here to kind of hold these in place on this side and then same thing pull these down And just like so. Hmm. Just like so. So I'm just going to continue this weave on down and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's all finished. Again, to review, the one that's directly across from it on the ground here, I'm going to go underneath it and then make sure it's flat as best I can and then over and then under and just basically alternate your weave for the rest of the weavers, the rest of the leaves. So, pop these up and kind of crush, smash these into place. Now I can start, I can use my snips as a placeholder and continue my weave pattern. So, yeah. down. and then what I can do is I can take like the first one on this side that I started with to lock everything in place and I'm going to fold down or I can fold under doesn't really it doesn't seem to matter but I can fold the leaf so that it goes downward and parallel to the leaves that are going in this direction and then continue my weave just to lock and hold the leaves in place like so so that starts to hold things in place nicely and then I'm just going to continue on down the line here and this creates a denser it seems it creates a denser weave okay so I can go under much denser weave 
then when you weave a um, single, when you just uh, weave a single side. Okay. So this is essentially the weaving pattern that you get. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the, the other side here. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna start finishing up. As you can see, I've kind of gotten a little bit long and um, sleeve is coming together pretty nicely, I think. And uh, I just got these last few leaves on this side to weave in and then we'll see if we can kind of tie it off. So, so on this side again, I'm using my right leg here to hold everything down because these leaves are really rubbery almost and dense and they feel like rubber or plastic almost um, really tough material so I can see why it's really useful for building and making shelter and clothing and um, uh, baskets etc etc mats and screens and such so it's really cool stuff to work with and it's too bad in my region, upper Midwest, that um, we don't have these growing wild. Because it'd be nice to play with more of this. So, okay. Coming down to my last two. And again, I'm folding this under. Folding this this way. Like so, on itself, so that it lies this way. Okay. And then... The, the next one here that's on the ground, I'm going underneath it. And then the, the, its neighbor, I go over and then under, and I just continue my weave on from there. And it's important, I'm finding, to make sure that the, the uh, leaves are flat for larger area, surface area. Okay, and just kind of slide these in there to make them tight. Pat it down, move this over a bit, then I'm going to just weave this next one in, this last one in. Again, I'm going underneath the one on the ground, it's it's twin on the ground, and then I'm going to go over the, it, that, that, that next one and then just work in the weave. Kind of almost weaves itself almost once you start, once you get going. It's not that difficult. Okay. Slide the next one down, slide this next one down. And again, I'm just going to lay my leg on these here so that I can, so that I can um, use it. So now I'm going to take this one here, the very last one that happens to be on the ground. And I know just by playing with these, I can... I can start to lock this in. So what's going to happen is we're going to start to make a, um, a flat side that's going to weave downward in this direction. So I'm going to take this last one here and I'm going to fold it down in the same direction that we are weaving in, which is this way. And then I'm following the weaving pattern. I'm going over my next one here in this case, then under the next one, and then over, and then under, over and under, etc, etc. To get this locked in here. Okay. And then what I can do, and again I'm going to slide my leg over a little bit grab that and then just continue on folding these down into this weaving pattern to make a kind of a flat side so weave downward like so and then the next one in line do the same thing so forth. I had to 
increase to them. So forth. And so essentially, what we end up having, I'm gonna crease this down, is what we end up having is this nice woven pattern, like so. And again, this could be like a screen. If it was placed this way, it could be a screen. It could be a roof um, or shingles on a roof. And you would overlay these from work from the bottom up and you'd overlay these and uh, to keep uh, the rain out. Um, and again, these would be bigger, the, the species of plant would be a bigger, or wilder plant, I should say. So it would be bigger in the palm fronds. The leaves would be thicker and wider, so you could get a really tight mesh and really create something that's really durable. Um, but for the most part, this is what, this is what we got.